Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Lauren. So for today's video, ayon. Um, by the way, na miss ko mag-vlog. Finally, nakapag-shoot ulit ako, nakapag-film ulit ako ng video and sobrang tagal din bago ako nakapag-film. And ayon, so, so konting chika lang guys. Kanina nagbabasa ako ng mga comments ko sa vlog. Kita ko lang so, ayon. And nakita ko kanina na may new comment dun sa isang vlog ko, which is yung enrollment during my third year, second semi I guess. So, ayun, um, nabasa ko na may isang viewer na nag-comment doon and nagtatanong siya since yung kapatid niya is um, pasa sa CBSUA, which is my school here in Pili. So, ayun, so nag ask siya ng advice and ng full detail about kung paano ba mag-enroll or ano yung mga requirements and sa tuition, ganun. So, that's why I'm here to film all the details na kailangan ng sino man na gustong mag- enroll or yung lalo na yung mga nakapasa sa entrance exam last month yon kasi maaga kasi talaga magpa-take ng entrance exam sa school namin so hindi pa kami graduate so ayun nag-start na sila magpa-exam and alam, alam ko before, before pa kami mag-graduate is my result na ng entrance exam so ayun by the way gusto kong um i-congratulate so i-congratulate yung mga nakapasa and yung mga waitlisted naman so okay lang yan makakapag-enroll pa rin kayo na makakapag-enroll pa naman din kayo but Hindi na nga lang dun sa gusto nyong course, lalo na kung education yung gusto nyong kunin tapos hindi kayo nakapasa. So, well, no choice. Kailangan yung itake yung mga ibang open na courses like in agriculture, like tourism, BSA, at marami pang iba. Marami pa naman pagpipilian. So, kung bet nyo talagang maging education, so may option naman kayo. After yung itake ng first sem yung agriculture, pwede kayo mag-shift by second sem. So, ayun. So, ayun na guys. So, this video is intended dun sa mga gustong pumasok sa school sa CBSUA, specifically sa CBSUA kasi itong mga babanggitin kong details and requirements is um, according dun sa requirements na hinihingi ng ating, ng aming school. So, ayun, by the way guys, kagagraduate ko lang as Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English sa CBSUA last June 27. So, finally, natapos din tayo. And ayun, um, isashare ko din sa inyo yung video, yung some clips na na-film ko no, during graduation pero hindi talaga ako nakapag-film kasi nga naging busy and ayun, ang dami nang ginawa. Let's go. So, so without further ado, so, Let's jump into the video and I'm excited to share with you the detailed information about the admission and requirements and about the tuition in CBSUA. So, let's go. So, let's jump to the requirements. So, let's jump to the requirements. So, ilalagay ko maglalagay ako dito ng mga requirements na babanggitin ko para mas malinaw and para mas makita nyo habang nagsasalita ako, nakalagay na dito yung mga requirements. So, ayun first, we have here college admission test passers are required to submit the complete set of admission requirements. So, ayun, kapag ka nag-entrance exam kayo, nakapasa kayo, alam ko nagbibigay din sila ng checklist na mga kailangan nyong isubmit sa kanila. So, ayun, kailangan nyong isubmit lahat-lahat ng hinihingi nila. Place in a long size brown envelope on July, July 2 or, or, until July 21 only, 2023. So, ayun, kailangan nyong sumunod sa date na nakalagay kasi medyo mahigpit yung school sa mga ganito, sa mga na dapat kapag kasi nabi nilang until July, uh, from July to until um, July 21 lang, hanggang doon lang talaga. So, kung gusto niyo talagang ma-pursue yung pag-aaral nyo, then please follow the instruction po. So, ayun. So, for regular first-year students, which are the graduate from senior high school, ganon, so, you are required to submit personally the complete set of your requirements. So, kailangan niyo talagang pumunta on-site sa school, sa CBSUA, para ipasa lahat ng hinihingi nilang requirements. So, kasali na doon yung directory form, lahat-lahat na. Next, those who are not list of professors in their preferred course, which is which are the students that uh, hindi mas hindi nakapasa sa entrance exam, so they were still accepting all the students in a waitlisted. So kahit ganon, kahit hindi ka nakapasa sa entrance exam, may chance ka pa rin na makapasok naman. So ayun, nagbibigay naman sila ng chance. So ayun, nakalagay dito. So nakalagay dito for transferees and second courses, you are required to submit the So, ayun, hawak ko na itong laptop ko kasi parang ang layo, hindi ko makita. So, ayun, so dito, for, reg for, re for regular first-year students, like graduate ng senior high school, ito yung mga kailangan nyo gawin. You will submit the documents through a drop box designated inside our office at CBSUA Training Center Admission Office. So, may mga designated drop box siya kung saan nyo pwedeng ilagay yung mga requirements nyo. Every department is have their own drop box. So, next, for transferees and second courses, you are required to submit documents through so you are required to submit in person 
a complete set of admission requirements and fill out the online appointment request form. So, ayon sa mga transferee and sa mga second courses, which are the uh, mga dati ng estudyante doon na mga second year, third year, fourth year, ayon, so, kailangan nyong ipasa yung mga requirements personally sa office ng CBSUA sa admission, yeah, sa admission office, and kailangan nyo din mag-set ng admission ng online appointment bago yata kayo pumunta doon. Kasi before, before pa, during pandemic, ayun, nagsimula yung appointment na ganun. So, hanggang ngayon pala is ganun pa din. And so, those who are not, so, ito, ito yung, ito, pakinggan nyo sa mga hindi nakapasa sa entrance exam. Don't lose hope kasi may chance pa naman kayo, guys. So, those who are not on the list of passers in their preferred courses, you may be admitted to the following courses with available slots on a first come, on a first come, first serve basis by submitting the complete set of admission requirements. So, ayun, may chance pa rin kayo naman. Kaso lang, hindi na masusunod yung gusto yung course. So, kung ano lang yung open na courses para sa inyo is doon na lang kayo pipili. So, halimbawa, just in case gusto nyo na mag-education but hindi kayo pinalad na makapasa sa entrance exam, pwede naman kayo mag-take ng other courses. Then, after that, after second sem or after ng first sem, pwede kayo mag-shift ng course as education para sa second sem. Pwede naman yon As long as pasok yung average nyo, 85 pataas ang alam ko sa education. Hindi ko sure kung binago na siya, pero 85 pataas dati dun sa amin. So, ayun. So, dapat nakalagay din siya sa long brown size envelope. And, wait, nawala. Before July, and pass it on July 3, July 3, to August 4, 2023. So, mag-accept sila ng requirements from July 3 until August 4, 2023. So, ayun, kung may mga, yung mga gusto pang makapasok kahit hindi nakapasa sa entrance exam, habol na kayo guys. Huwag nyo lang palampasin to. Mahalaga yung pag-aaral, alam nyo yan. And, napakasarap sa feeling na makareceive ng diploma after a long years. Ayun, sobrang worth it yung 4 years nyo guys. Believe me. Ayun. So, So, ayun, no need to, uh, hindi na kailangan mag-retake or mag-take ulit ng entrance exam. Ano po? So, you are also required to submit person and submit in person and fill out the online appointment request form. So, ganun din sa mga waitlisted. So, ito mga babanggitin ko, ito yung mga courses na may slot pa na pwede niyong pagpilian. So, we have here courses with available slot. First, we have Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, which also known as BSA, Bachelor of Science in Agroforestry, BSAF, and Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness, BSAB. Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management, major in Agritourism, BSTMAT. And Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, uh, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. And last, we have Bachelor of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering. So, yung anim yung pagpipilian nyo, guys. Um, kung ako sa inyo, piliin nyo na lang yung pinakamalapit sa, pinakamalapit sa gusto nyong course. Hindi man siya yung exact na gusto nyo, pero just to grab the opportunity na makapasok sa university, pili na lang kayo sa anin. Pwede pa naman kayo mag-shift after first sem. So, second sem, pwede na kayong lumipat. As long as, maganda lang yung grades nyo and umabot yung average nyo sa gusto yung courses. So, ayan. Next, we have, so, these are the other admission requirements. So, number one, printed notice of admission. Downloadable siya through the link that will be sent on your institutional email address. So, institutional email, email address is yung school yung gumagawa nun and ipoprovide nila sa lahat ng mga enrolled students sa CBSUA. Alam ko may time ng pag-process or ng paggawa ng institutional email. So, automatic kaya dapat kapag ka mag-fill out kayo ng form, especially dun, dun sa directory form, dapat updated yung email nyo, yung nakaka-receive talaga ng message kasi dun papasok yung notification na paggawa nila ng institutional email. So, yun. Yun yung, yung institutional email is yun yung magsiserve as your or as, yun yung magsiserve as your email the whole four years in the university. So, lahat ng magiging agenda um, online like Google Meet, um, Zoom meeting, lahat yon yung institutional email yung kailangan mong gamitin. So, ayan. Next, we have here three copies of, you need to secure three copies of student directory form with passport size picture, with name tag and white background. So, yun, na-mention ko na kanina sa una pa lang na kailangan nyo na secure yung, or kailangan nyo magpasa ng three copies of directory form. Which is, pwede nyo makuha sa, ang alam ko meron sa gate ng CBSUA, pwede kayo dun mag-ask sa security guard for the form or sa loob sa office ng CBSUA and may link din sila para ma-download yung form and i-print nyo na lang. So, ilalagay ko din sa description box yung link para ma-access nyo. So, next we have here another requirements, Form 138 or Report Card, Original and Photocopy for Senior High School Graduates. If you are a graduating Senior High School students and the Report Card is not yet available, 
you may submit a certification from the school that's attended that you are indicated in the official list of graduating students signed by the principal or school head. So, ayun, parang proof na talagang nag-graduate ka sa school year niyan. So, you will not be considered an, as officially enrolled kapag ka hindi mo na-submit yung original copy of your report card. So, due date of submission of this report card is on August 4, 2023. So, kung ako sa inyo guys, asikasihan nyo na sa habang maaga pa para before August 4, maipasa nyo na. Para less conflict na din and less uh, problema in the end. So, ayun. Next, we have Certificate of Good Moral Character. So, original po yung hinihingi nilang Good Moral Character. Um, saan po siya makukuha? Makukuha nyo siya kung saan kayo galing na school. Kung saan kayo nag-graduate. So, ayun guys. Sana lahat ng questions nyo is nasagot ng ating video. And, doon sila comment ng viewers. So, thank you so much po. Sana nasagot ko yung lahat ng questions mo. And, about doon sa boarding house po, is meron naman siyang mga dorm sa loob ng CBSUA. Like, the latest dormitory, which is range from 700 pesos only. A month. So, ayun. Hindi ko sure kung kasama na doon yung tubig and ilaw nila. Basta, based on my classmates na nag-rent doon sa Lady's Dormitory, 700 lang yung binabayaran nila every month. And my Wi-Fi na siya. May Wi-Fi na. So, maganda siya sa mga students na tulad ko. Dahil alam niya naman napaka-essential kapag may Wi-Fi connection. So, ayun. And about doon sa tuition fee, as nabanggit ko na nga doon sa una ko pa lang na kanina, sa nabanggit ko pa lang kanina, no tuition fee in our university. Wala kayong babayaran kahit piso. But, um, expect sa minimal fees, like 25 pesos, 50 pesos, 100 pesos, depending kung ano yung mga konting pwedeng bayaran dun. Kasi sa mga publication yan, sa ID card, ganun. So, ayun. So, that's all for today's video. So, I hope na nasagot ko lahat ng katanungan na nag-comment kanina sa aking video. So, just in case na may mga hindi pa ako na-mention dito, just comment, just feel free to comment down below para magawa natin yan ng next video. And sa mga gusto pang magtanong or sa may mga inquiries pa tungkol sa CBS UA, um, feel free to comment din po. So, ayun, um, I'm planning to have a next vlog which is the tour in university. So, ayun, pinagpaplanohan ko pa kung kaya kong ma-film yung mga building sa school kung saan madalas na kailangan puntahan kapag ka nag-enroll. So, lalo na ngayon na may mga nire-renovate na building, so iba-iba na yung mga area and medyo may mga distances talaga yung mga offices sa ngayon. So, ayun, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you find this video is helpful to you, so don't forget to subscribe, please click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell para updated kayo every time na mag-upload ako ng panibagong video. So that's all. See you on my next vlog. Bye!